how procainamide increases QT interval in ECG. Procainamide belongs to which category? First of all, let us see what is procainamide. So, procainamide belongs to class 1A antiarrhythmic agent. So, various class 1A antiarrhythmic agents are quinidine, disopyramide and procainamide. So, procainamide belongs to this class 1A antiarrhythmic agent. So, it increases the QT interval in the ECG, thereby it can precipitate the torsate D point T. So, hence it is called as proarrhythmic acid. Why class 1A drugs are proarrhythmic? Here you have to remember that among the class 1, only class 1A drugs are increase the QT interval, thereby they are proarrhythmic. This action is not observed with the class 1B and 1C. This proarrhythmic effect of the class 1A drugs is again not related to their main mechanism of action that is the sodium channel block. So they have an additional action of blocking potassium channels which is responsible for the their proarrhythmic effect. So drugs like quinidine, procainamide and disopyramide which are the class 1A drugs will show the two types of actions. First one, they show a major action on blocking of the voltage-gated sodium channels which is responsible for the class 1 action. At the same time, they also show the minor action by blocking the voltage-gated potassium channels which shows the class 3 action. So this proarrhythmic effect is because of the class 3 action. This class 3 action is responsible for the increase in the QT interval in the ECG resulting in the torsate D point is. Suppose this is the normal phase of the action potential of the heart with normal ERP, effective refractory period. And if potassium channels are blocked, you can see that the effective refractory period is going to be increased because of the inhibition of the phase 3 the phase 2 is going to be increased, that is the plateau phase is increased, resulting in the increased effective refractory period. So as the effective refractory period increases, calcium is going to enter more into the cardiac cells. So as the plateau phase is increased, this results in the increased calcium entry into the cardiac cells. So this can lead to the torsi D point is an abnormal reason the calcium in the heart can precipitate a fatal arrhythmia, what we call Torsade D point is. Torsade D point is can be observed as an increased QT interval in the ECG. Class 1A drives can increase the QT interval in the ECG, thereby they can precipitate the Torsade D point is. So these drugs should be carefully given with the other drugs which also act as proarrhythmic and can increase the QT interval in the ECG. Procainamide can undergo metabolism to give its metabolite n acetyl procainamide. Now, n acetyl procainamide is also an active metabolite. Procainamide is mainly responsible for the inhibition of the sodium channels, thereby it shows the class 1 action. Whereas n acetyl procainamide blocks the voltage gated potassium channels, thereby it shows the class 3 action. So, the proarrhythmic effect of the procainamide is mainly due to its metabolite. N-acetyl procainamide.